I don't want this map. Oh my gosh. What? Finally. Okay, keep joining. God dang it, dude! Oh my... Right, COD 4. All right, let's play to some lobbies on here. Cause if not, Dang. yeah, I'm playing Plants vs Zombies. You got a problem with it? This game is actually pretty decent. Like. This is actually pretty fun. Just, just, just listen to the music. Just, just take a minute. Just listen to the music. Tell me that does not sound chill. I really like this game. Shouts out to Gecko. See, look at that. Looking for really great game sessions. That's how you know this game is promising. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The only game I'd play other than Call of Duty right now is this game. Like, to be honest, every single kill in this game is so satisfying for no reason. See, this is why I love this game. You see that? See that? I wouldn't consider it exo boosting, but it just looks so freaking cool. Look, I have the fattest trigger finger in this game. Look at that. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Yo. All right, is anybody going to revive me? No? No? Okay. Look at that. Just look at that. That's so fun. If you want to play a game other than COD, I would really recommend you get this game. It's like a solid 8.9 out of 10. Let me show you the trigger finger real quick. All right, wait, wait, no, I'm on fire. No, wait, all right, all right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on. No, no, oh my, boy. Oh, okay, all right, all right, let, let, let me just get up this bridge. Let me show you the trigger finger. <laughs> I love using that. All right, here we go. Look at that, just look at that, come on. That was even my, my legit trigger, twigger, trigger finger. What the heck? All right, there you go, there. All right, watch this. Look at that. Come on. You boys just be smashing the right trigger for no reason. But if you think about it, like, the only flaw, like, of, with this character is that his damage thing is so low. The other the other team, which is team, like, Team Plants, is so OP. See, look at that. Look at that trigger finger. Oh, I need to revive that guy. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to revive him, but okay. So, since I have nothing else to talk about, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little story that happened to me in seventh grade. It was just a regular day, and you know, typical regular routine. I had gym during seventh grade, so every day I, you know, I go to gym, obviously. But this one particular day made me so upset and sad. Like, I thought I was gonna die when I got home. But the thing about it is, we go to gym, right? And like every year, when you go to gym, like they'll, they'll go over the rules and stuff, and they'll say, like, oh, make sure you bring a lot because, you know, there'll be some thieves. And me, you know, obviously I, I didn't have a lock until like, I don't know, but I, I didn't have a lock. Just just keep it at that. I didn't have a lock. But, but yeah, I didn't have a lock. And this one day, you know, we're just having a good old time. And then, you know, gym ends, right? And it's time to dress out. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just going through my stuff, getting all my clothes. And then I reach for my keys, right? My keys are in my locker. I always put my keys in my locker and I just leave them in there. Sometimes I like, I keep my keys in my locker because otherwise if I had like a lock, I'd just put like the key in my sock, but you know, I didn't have a lock. So I just put my keys in my locker, like my house keys. And I go back, I get, I, I like, I put on my clothes and I reach for my keys. Tell me why it wasn't in there. What was replaced with it was a freaking speed stick deodorant. But it was a freaking speed stick, like a freaking speed stick. At least you could you could like replace it with like a freaking axe deodorant spray. Come on. So I I like I immediately reported to like the coaches and teachers and such, and I was like, yo, my keys are stolen, right? And they was like, oh yeah, man, we look for it. You know, no problem. We got you. And they pat me on the back, and they, you know, I'm just gone, right? Two weeks later, they haven't found it. When I came home that day, my mom, she was so angry. She was like, boy, you better find them keys. 
I was like, I don't know where they are. So, you know, go next day searching. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I like, like, I give up, right? It was like one of the most depressing days. So, you know, I asked everyone in the gym, dude, like, has any of you seen, like, a pair of keys that had, like, a blue, like, little hook on it? Because that's what my keys look like. And it was all rusty and such. Because I had it for a long time. And I asked everyone if they see my keys. And it was like, nah, bro, nah, bro. And I was like, god dang it, man. So, I go to this one guy, right? He was like, yeah, man, I take your keys. And I was like, can I get them back? He was like, nah, bro, I don't know who they are. <sighs> Let me tell you, this guy, I'm calling him out, too. I'm saying his real name and everything. His name was Darrell. Let me briefly... Let me briefly explain what he looked like, okay? He was like a worn down old freaking Mr. Jenkins from Spongebob, okay? He had nappy hair, he had no hairline, he, it, his hairline went all the way back like the dude Carl from Family Matters. Yeah, yeah, like that. And this dude, he had so many bumps on his face, yo. He called him freaking, I don't even know, the freaking Rocky Mountains. I don't even know. He looked like freaking, looked like freaking dirt on a towel. Okay, he was also obsessed with Michael Jackson. He had freaking shirts, freaking, he had the glove. He had the glove, it looked like it was from a different shop. It wasn't even white, it was freaking beige. You know what color that is, it's not white. I'm sorry, he goes to my school. Let me tell you, he gets roasted on it every single day. It's pretty hilarious. I, I would I would record it. But yeah, I, I was at the, I was like my heart to like, I was like, cause I was walking with him, I was like, yo, you took my keys, right? He was like, yeah, I took your keys. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna beat you up. And I was holding, I was holding my freaking, my waist, the waist of my pants. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna beat you up. I was holding my waist like super tight. I was just walking off like super quick, yo. I was like, you know what? Mm. But see, when I said that at the time, I had like a new pair of keys. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be. Oh, but of course, you know, I'm a wimp, so I never beat him up. But yeah, my name's Diamond. Peace out! Okay, now love to all the teachers that said I wouldn't be shit. Love to local rappers that said I wouldn't be shit. Love to all the girls that took my kindness for a weakness. I made it through the pain. All of y'all deserve to see this. Just a young nigga from Homewood who started thinking forward. Was known for all that flash shit and them fresh clothes that I sported. And love to those who saw my dreams and went out and supported. I made it on the road. My school mission was aborted. And I wasn't trying to stop birth, but understand my plan B. To make everybody in this world understand me See me and all my niggas used to roll in the Camry And now we make them 20